morning! It is raining a lot here in South Yorkshire. Um, another summer's day. Oh well, we've got cows to feed, we've got things to do. So if you like farming and all this content around it, then please press like and subscribe. These two in the paddock here are getting wet and we'll get on with some farming business. I'll jump on the TM I think and we'll uh, get some stuff done. No I won't, I'll jump on this. I'll have to remember to lift that weight block up. It's obviously leaking down. Um, We'll take the mixer out, we'll start a mix, and then while I'm doing it, I can put that, um, I can put the meal out that's left there. Oh, not woke up yet. Connor's just been putting out the silage bales. Yeah, this is the summer that nobody expected, like, what? Like, getting into the fields now, even when it does dry up, is going to be a nightmare. Like, we like to bring full loads back from the field of straw, and I don't think we'll be able to get full loads out of the field. So it's like, so we're going to be very, very busy, and then when we do get going, we're not going to be able probably to be as efficient as we are in a normal year. Oh, God, yeah, okay. I, uh, <laughs> I think everybody found out who Big Mick was working for yesterday, or maybe a few of you found out anyway. Um, he's been traveling past Charlotte Ashley's uh, in his lorry, doing his work, and um, yeah, he let me know, and I was sort of on the phone to Charlotte afterwards. I'm like, Mick's coming past yours, and yeah, she was uh, over, overjoyed, should we say, and uh, went truck spotting for him. So if you want to check out Charlotte's most recent video, you'll see Big Mick in it, blasting past in his truck. Connor's riding with Andy today, trying to keep dry, I think. And he's got a new coat on, so we'll check that out in a bit, I think. Time for the molasses in. It's August, it's later on in the morning <clears throat> and I've still got to put the lights on in the shed to get good visibility. Oh, look at it out there. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. While our mix is going, we'll just get rid of um, some of the meal from yesterday that was left. Got about two buckets left, I think. Jesus, this is crazy how much it's raining. Really... Like a monsoon climate we've got in the UK now. Anyway, let's take it back to sunnier times. Uh, me and Ash yesterday um, were playing with his rifle and his new shotgun that he's got, his 410. So, yeah, I'll put a few clips of that in and then remind us of the sunshine. Get in there? Can't find out. Got some holes in box. So what's this? Is it a two-two? This ash. Mm -hmm. You it? What are you aiming for? Cow or for? No, that's a box. Two. Has it gone too low? I suppose it could have gone too high. Here. You don't look like he's hitting it. <laughs> I'm going to have a look, see if they are, but I, I could only see two in the camera. Oh, I could just see them black dots. So you were aiming the, the, black, the black, I thought yeah. the black dots were the, no, no, where it had gone no. through. I aimed at, it's still, it's still a mile out, right? Okay. <clears throat> Is this is it is the cow like when you go on to your next level? Yeah, I. <laughs> mm. 
If he gets any of the wrong ideas, Ash will not be shooting at cows. It just is a picture of one. Okay. So it might be the the, the voracious winds that we've it got is. at the moment. Can you hear it ruffling the speaker? Only a little bullet. Let's have a look at it. Ah, that can do so much damage. It's got much damage. And it's only the actual tip that leaves the gun. So that, that's the casing, so that stays. You get empty ones of them. Chucked out of the gun. Two infrared one then? Yeah, the cheap one. The cheap one? Yeah. Why have you got two infrareds? No, this isn't thermal. Oh, oh yeah, 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 that's what I mean, and I thought it was, yeah, yeah, thermal, that's what they call it, isn't it? Oh, so these are your cheap scopes. So when Ash pulls it back, out pops the thing that gets lost in the straw. Anyway, be somewhere. Oh yeah, there we are. There you go. That's what gets left. We've seen some uh, some pigeons landing in field here, eating the barley. Not. Now he reckons he's got it set up. Somewhat like. Ah. He's got his new toy out now. What is it then? A four ten. <laughs> <laughs> like a little Tommy gun. Is this what they have banks with? <laughs> Get a battery grinder on it. I'm trying to get the, these pigeons up the field. I'm scared, but I think because the gas bang has been going off for so long, they're probably not bothered. We've been asked to it. So we've got some tea on here, and he don't want any, he says. So it's roast pork, so. I'm leaving him for it, but um, he's, having, he's having time in his life with his little gun, with his little 410. Andy's been unlucky, he's done a sheer bolt again. Connor's just uh, getting it set up, I think, into the right place. What, right, Andy? Right. <laughs> we will be getting the parts for that to sort it, so that this should become more of a thing of the past. Connor has betrayed the John Deere. And he's gone for case clothing. What's all this about? It was cheap. <laughs> written, written star. So and it's farm star. But I mean, if Ripon wants to bring us a coat, that could do it. Yeah, you could live with that. Yeah, I could live with that. <laughs> I feel a bit wrong right now. <laughs> it feels dirty. It feels dirty, everyone. All the drains are blocking up. Andy Straw, I blame this on. Here he is going down there, isn't he? Down you go. So we've got a problem with the TM. She's leaking a fair bit of diesel. Now where's this coming from? That's a good question. That's a lot of diesel. Looks to me like it's coming out of. Top of the filter there. Or somewhere very close to it. Tried to tighten it up by hand with these gloves on and no chance. So um, I've rung TC Harrison to come in out this afternoon. What more can I ask for? What more can I ask for? Um, so yeah, they'll get that sorted. We'll be back. Not leaking diesel. Um, yeah, that's just one of them things, in it? It's probably just come loose or something, but we um, just want sorting because we need to use it. Simple as. Nia weighs over 900 kilos. Not good. The big lad. These bullocks are the same. Oh, look at that. That is some anger, isn't it? Come on. Hey. Just heavy. So maybe they'll go to a market. I don't know. What my dad's thinking about them, but they are very good. What an Angus. Yeah, man. You're all saying now. And you've got matching shorts, you've got it, and Andy's just got to wear a t shirt, though. Yeah. yeah. 
Those are real money. The thing is, I don't want this car. <laughs> Like, and I bet I Ben's sticking the mic and look what hat he's got on today. Is it a farming one? Let me have a look. Rankin. Let me have a look. He's um he's from Water Priory. Rankin. Oh, it's when he went shooting to Water Priory. Good at mate. You have to you know your hats, you have to get better quality ones like this. Is that what you reckon? No, no nothing about it's the not... logo. Thicker material, good, good material. Sick. Where's it made? It, Italy. That's thin. <laughs> Italy. Italy via Thailand. China, made in China. <laughs> this TC Harrison's to the rescue. Um, so we'll sort this diesel leak out for us. That filter, it's um, popped the seal out of it or something, so he's going to get that sorted. But um, no, very good. Rung me 20 minutes before he was coming, did the fitter just to say that he was on his way. Like, they do a very good service for us, really. Like, fixing stuff and getting out here on time. What you want. So we're just getting some cattle out now. Everyone's just chilled. We've been having issues inside the shed with water running under the panels. So we're digging out now at the side of the panels, try and get below it so that um, it doesn't run in. Connor's over there with the barrow taking it away. I'm getting there. Fight me now. So in here is the reason that we're digging outside because the water's been coming in and under the panel, which we don't want. So hopefully we sorted it now. Years the cows have just walked this bank down, and um, the water's managed to get in and get under. Now it should just run down the side and get away. Back on the non-leaking JCB, which is good. All sorted, ready for us to use when we need to use it. It's not been a pain. And Andy now are just trying to get this pipe work a bit nicer because we're going to run some cattle through the foot bath, um, hopefully today, or if not tomorrow. But we need a 32 mil to 32 mil to down to a 20 mil T. Now, Screw fix, places like that don't have them. But um, I'm guessing somebody will know where to get them from. Mole Valley. Mole Valley, you reckon? Yeah. Got a massive love for Mole Valley. It must be a Devon thing. <laughs> sure we over. don't really have them around here. Sure over there. I don't think, do we? Do we have Mole Valley yeah, around here? Yeah, Where's that? Works up. Works up. Yeah. So they are up here. How this is going to work, that is the foot bath that the cows work, walk through. It's got some formalide in it, so it's going to harden their feet and make it so that they are less susceptible to getting uh, digital dermatitis. Now, if we wanted to treat it, we'd put um, copper sulfate in and that treats their feet, but these guys aren't too bad. We just want to make sure that um, nobody's going to get it. So, we're going to run the cattle in, into this area, pull the JCB across, blocking it off. And then the only way they can get back is up the race here, through the foot bath, and then they would be into the far side where then we can put them back into their pen. Hopefully now, they'll start walking up there. That's it, pretties, that's it. Now you two got them and I'll send these up. Come on then. Come on then. Come on. Come on, come on, that's it, get up, come on, come on, get up. The HDB resource to see what um, 
concentration we need. We need two to four percent formalide to, in the foot bath. Um, so if anybody wants to find out how much copper sulfate or whatever you need to put in your foot baths, check out the HDB's um, little thing that they've done because they've done loads of research on it. It's all free for people to use at their will. Well, the last of them just going up now. This one at the front is designed to back up. Come on! Oi, 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 oi! It's going forwards, not backwards. What are you telling me that you're you're not trusting your welding, Andy? No, that's, uh, that's no pins in. Make it easy. Mm. They have got moving finally. The second time that they go up here will be a much much easier. Now they know that it's not going to harm them or anything. Andy's on the nine meter now. He's going to tidy up some of the hay that's outside that pen, give him a fresh bale, and then also down in the bottom there, we've got a lot of loose straw. So he's going to put that into one of the pens. The mentions today is Ross Allard. Happy 30th birthday! Um, Thank you to everyone who's done it, to Yorkshire Air Ambulance uh, through Mixed Ventions. The link in is in the, uh, the link is in the description below if you want to donate and help that charity out. Business, right? Let's feed some cows. Just you noticed using this bucket, we're missing a ball. Fallen out. I'll have to get that replaced. If there's any eagle-eyed viewers who can work out when we lost that. I mean, this bucket is in pretty much every single video, so um, will somebody be able to work it out with it when it's gone? Oh, fairly fresh laid gone, I think. Anyway, we'll get one. Go on, it'd just be interesting to know. I found a 24mm bolt, which should do the trick. Andy wants to use washers. Mm, they're not very good, though. They haven't got a washer on that one, though, has it? No, that hasn't got a washer. I think it'll be all right, just lock tight it. Some bolts down there loose as well. Probably ought to check auger, didn't we? Sometimes it gets work this bucket, doesn't it? That's that's the thing. But sometimes these come loose, so I think we'll just uh, tighten them up and make sure they're right. Good to do a bit of maintenance, so we tightened up that bracket there, because they were loose. And now we're gonna tighten up these because these were loose. I did a bit with the um, spanner, but we just need to get the big Break a bar on. Thought some idiot you had then, Andy. Mm, again. Again. <laughs> but this is it. We're pretty much done for the day. Everything off safely away. In the shed. Andy's trying to, I think, race me to the door. Can I get under in time? Ooh, health and safety there, health and safety. That is about it from us today. If you have liked today's video, then please press like, subscribe if you've not already. And um, that's about it really, isn't it? We're done. Yeah, check out Andy's merchandise. He's got a vest coming soon. soon yeah. Are they really? Yeah, they are coming soon. Yeah, When the sun comes out, they'll be available. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. See us all in vests here. This winter. <laughs> right, um, we'll see you later guys, thanks for watching. Bye!